How much does an F1 car weight in 2022, and what's included in the limit? Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to talk about F1 car weights in 2022. Formula 1 cars have strict weight limits groups have to follow. However, what's blanketed in these limits, and how much do the components weigh? Find out here. It's no secret that weight is the entirety of Formula 1. However, that F1 cars have also been getting heavier over time. In 2022 the vehicles are the most serious in the championship's records. This obtains can commonly be defined through extended protection points in recent years, the halo weighs 7 kilograms, for example. Across a Grand Prix weekend and throughout the race on my own, the weight of a Formula 1 vehicle critically fluctuates. However, the FIA unit's a minimum weight for the car that groups want to hit. The FIA technical policies are a prolonged 178 pages. However, Right here is the whole thing to do with the weight of a Formula 1 car. How tons does an F1 automobile weigh? In 2022 the minimal weight of a Formula 1 car is 798 kg. However, this is the automobile mass with the driver geared up with dry weather tires besides fuel. The minimal weight restriction is set through the FIA in their rulebook. However, every team's car will be at various quantities over the minimal weight relying on the team. For example, this year, 2022 has considered automobiles run obese in contrast to this minimum value. Alfa Romeo is believed to be the only car that is now not extensively overweight, which is subsequently why the crew is specifically opposed to the raising of the minimal weight restriction until now in the season. This parent used to be improved by way of 3 kg from 795 kg to 798 kg in March. This minimal weight is measured after the car has used its fuel at the Grand Prix. The complete fuel ability of a Formula 1 car is 110 kg, which means at the start of a Grand Prix with the driver and a full fuel load, the car will weigh at least 908 kg, assuming they have a full fuel load. There is no top restriction in phrases of the weight of a Formula 1 car. Alternatively, it is exceptionally undesirable to be overweight. Increasing the weight makes the vehicle slower, so the group intended to get as shut to that decrease restriction as possible. If cars are beneath the minimum weight limit, groups will add ballast, a greater weight, to hit this minimal weight. This ballast can be positioned somewhere on the car to enhance stability, which means it is applicable to even purpose beneath the minimal weight figure and then have greater weight in the shape of ballast to play around with. How much does a driver weigh? With the shortest driver Yuki Tsunoda, 5 feet 2 inches, and tallest drivers, Alex Albin and Esteban Akan, each being 6 feet 1 inch, there is no surprise that weight fluctuates between all the drivers. However, FIA regulations nation a minimal weight for a Formula 1 driver of 80 kg. If the driver weighs much less than 80 kg, the majority of drivers, this distinction is corrected with ballast. This ballast is delivered to the cockpit, so it can't be positioned somewhere on the car to enhance balance. This determination additionally consists of the driver's helmet, race swimsuit, and footwear, so drivers do now not goal to weigh precisely 80 kg. This 80 kg minimal rule was once applied in 2019 to minimize shorter and lighter drivers' benefits. Before this rule, the driver weight was once protected holistically inside the typical F1 car weight regulations, which supposed more lightweight drivers supplied groups with extra room to enhance the car's stability. Before that, it was now not uncommon for drivers to be instructed the unique weight they had been allowed to be by using their teams, and this used to be regularly decreased than what was once healthful for the drivers. Why do drivers get weighed after a race? The motives drivers are weighed after the race is twofold. Firstly, drivers lose around 2 to 3 kilograms a race, even higher if in hotter conditions, so drivers are considered to recognize precisely how much weight they have misplaced so fluids can be replenished and subsequent education programs for the next week are knowledgeable through any dramatic weight loss. Secondly, the minimal mass of the Formula 1 car consists of the driver, so their weight wishes to be recognized so that when the vehicle is weighed, the two figures can be delivered up to ensure the groups have reached that minimal amount. The drivers are weighed with their full race gear and helmets, as this is covered in the weight of the driver. With this capability, the FIA can calculate that the correct quantity of ballast has been brought if necessary. How much do F1 parts weigh? While the complete F1 car ought to weigh no less than 798 kilograms, the heaviest phase of a Formula 1 car is the engine which needs to consider a minimum of 150 kg, whereas the lightest phase is the guidance wheel weighing 1.3 kg. 
Some components have minimal weight necessities listed in the rulebook, whereas others are free for groups to make as mild as possible. How much do F1 engines cost? An F1 manufacturer's storage used to be like any different storage with filthy floors, oily tools, and oil all over the feet. However, a lot has changed. Walking into a manufacturer's workspace, you will observe that it appears futuristic, spotless, and efficient. Everything is easy because the technology that goes into an F1 engine is quite advanced. With all these technological developments, an F1 machine costs about $10.5 million to build. Remember that it is the engine and no longer the whole car. There is a lot of income from manufacturing the engine for F1. That is why getting a contract is so fantastically sought after. Take an organization like Renault, a partly state-owned French enterprise that races in F1. Over the closing few years, possibly a decade, they have now not been title contenders. However, they had been reduced in size by using one of their rival groups to create an engine. Creating an engine for Red Bull supposed that they had been now not using their resources. Instead, they have been the usage of Red Bull's cash to boost a new engine for Red Bull, and consequently, they have been in a position to create a higher laptop for their rival than they may want to for themselves genuinely due to the fact of the money it costs. I understand that Renault misplaced their contract to enhance engines for Red Bull, and the assurance was once given to Honda, which has produced some of the excellent machines in F1 history. Hope you guys like this video, let us know in the comment below, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. See you in the next video.